Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And High Guardian Spice is done. And it hasn't even dropped yet. The show is already wrapped production. I thought it would have wrapped production by now. Uh, you would think, but it's, you know, everybody's been wondering where this uh, much ballyhooed crunchy roll original anime series went to. It disappeared. It disappeared. Well, we have to give a special thanks to... Romstein. Stop picking on him. Romstein, our friend Romstein, who sent us this tweet last night from uh, showrunner, I believe showrunner and creator Ray Rodriguez, who posted on his uh, Twitter that he was done. He's done. He's done. Mm -hmm. It's it's done. This is weird. So we've been kind of following High Guardian Spice. It is the I, I think the first original Crunchyroll series. Uh, there was a lot of backlash initially to the show because when they announced it, it wasn't even about the show. It was about the diverse people working on the show. It was like a Kickstarter video. And it was, it wasn't even about the show. It was about diversity, diversity. We mentioned diversity. Look at all the diversity. It's kind of like what you saw with Shira. The writer's room it was all women. Well, that's not diversity. Last time I checked, but it's all how diverse we are. And we're the, we're, you know, we're just so accepting and diverse. And it had nothing to do with the show other than the fact that it looks like a little witch academia, you know, copycat. And yeah. And you know, we knew something was up because I think uh, Kate Leth, who worked in comics, was working on the show. <laughs> and Kate Leth, Kate Leth was uh, out of out of work, I guess. Uh, so something was up with the show. It was supposed to debut in May. Never happened. Mm. And then after that, they were doing test screenings of it um, somewhere because someone wrote us an in-depth review of what, you know, that's what you're taught. You have another one. Pulled yeah, up. yeah. Yeah, pulled up. They had given us an in-depth review of what they saw, which I guess they got in trouble for and all this other stuff. Um, so that was after May. That was, yeah, that was after May. So they had a, uh, a pilot episode, an hour-long pilot episode was being test screened and we wondered whether or not it was legitimate. Um... We wondered whether or not it was legitimate. We had some spoilers from the series. Now, the person who watched it, who tweeted at us, actually said the show wasn't terrible. Mm -hmm. But we knew it was legit because Alation's legal team reached mm -hmm. out to us, Crunchyroll's legal team, and they said, could you please take the video down? They had no legal recourse if we didn't because we weren't showing anything that was copyrighted. Well, the video's still here. We just don't look public. But, it's not you know, public. But... We could always change that at any time. <laughs> so, just saying. But we took it down because they did ask. You know, they did ask. But it did confirm that, yes, the trailer is being screened right now. Uh, the show has wrapped production. There has been no trailer. No. Other than that Kickstarter or whatever the hell that was supposed to be. Yeah, so this is coming from Ray Rodriguez. Again, so it was my last day at Crunchyroll a week and a half ago. High Guardian Spice has wrapped. It's over. I animated a bouncy rosemary in my now copious amounts of free time to celebrate. So basically, it's up to Crunchyroll. But now here's the thing. We don't know... We don't know when Crunchyroll is actually going to drop this. Or we don't know if... Since Crunchyroll is owned by Warner Brothers and they're having all kinds of problems right now, they're... Uh, you know, cutting back on Rooster Teeth and everything's about HBO Max. We don't know if they're just going to save this one for HBO Max. You know, I that, don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going they on. They just said it's you know, up to like basically, you know, Crunchyroll when yeah. it'll be released to the wild. What was supposed to be released to the wild last May. But you just now wrapped it up in November. So I in have... October. What the hell's going on? So one, we know this is going to be a short series. Uh, <laughs> most likely because it's only been like less than two years. Two... Uh, you know, it, 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 there was time to make changes if, you know, the test screening did happen a couple of months ago. It's possible that the reason Ray was still working on it right now and the reason that they pushed everything back is the test screening did not do well. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't the know. The test screening came up like in like, uh, August, September. We're talking that's supposed to be out in May. Yeah, so we're talking it was like six months after, you know, it was supposed to, to, to come out. I mean, yeah, it's like it's like we're months after it was supposed to be released, and they did a test screening months after it was supposed to be released, and now they're just wrapping it up. Months after it was supposed to be released, something, you know, went down here. I don't know what, but... Well, I think I think Warner Media went down. Well, I'm sure, I yeah, happened. I'm sure that hasn't been My understanding, again, talking to Animation Industry Insiders, I'm going to trademark that, is that when Warner Media came in, they took a look at all their animated uh, animation studios... Uh, Cartoon Network and Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll, and they started making cuts. And I think this show was greenlit on the previous uh, Warner CEO's watch, and then they took a look at this, and they're like, do we really need to create this show uh, when we have all this anime from Japan? Do we really need yeah. to make something and new? And after the backlash, and they showed it, I mean, yeah. people were like, well, a couple of reasons they got mad. 
one, they're they're spending money to Crunchyroll supposedly to get you know stuff animated in Japan and stuff, and then they get this thing, which is all it felt very much um, akin to Little Witch Academia. Mm. And then your commercial you get wasn't even about the show; it was all about diversity and how that's what they're trying to go for at the with the, with the Lation Studios and everything. And it ticked a lot of people off, and there was there was a lot of backlash against it. Um, I how much of that play into it, you know, with yeah. Crunchyroll and Webtoons and all that, and Warner Media and all that. Right. We'll we'll talk about how all this gels together, um, because potentially, possibly, maybe, because with uh, Crunchyroll, you know, they they jacked their subscription rates up just like Rooster Teeth. Mm-hmm. Not long after this was announced, um, you know, there's been a lot of backlash. People are like, oh, Crunchyroll has gone quote unquote woke, not just with the series, but with you know some of their. Uh, you know, their marketing efforts have been mm-hmm. very, you know, the Stay Crunchy campaign. Oh my God, and that one campaign was so bad. But they had like, oh, you know, God. oh, high five, you know, and all it's, that, like the anime character yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like, like, it was like every, it was tum- really bad. every Tumblr cl- cliche ever. It was like if they took that episode, that live action Sailor Moon and, and made it a commercial or, you know, it was Yeah, like it was that. pretty It was terrible. bad. But we have to wonder, you know, how long Crunchyroll as a separate entity is even going to be around because they've already announced for HBO Max that they're going to bring anime Mm -hmm. to it via Crunchyroll. But it might just be a case of it doesn't even make sense to have... Because right now, uh, HBO Max is bankrolling Genlock Season 2. Mm-hmm. Like, there would not be a Genlock Season 2 if it wasn't for HBO. Because they're trying to one. get all this content. Mm-hmm. And they can just, you know, roll Crunchyroll into it. And that's, then they can they can take eliminate a bunch of jobs and then free a bunch yeah. of money. And, you know, they can do that. And you'll never see it coming because we learned with Drama Fever. So, one day you might just go to Crunchyroll and... Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it, it totally happened. That's what, uh, you know, Geeky, her, her favorite uh, streaming service was Drama Fever for K-Dramas. That was also Warner Brothers. That was the first cut. They literally, uh, you know, for those of you who haven't seen previous videos, they literally just shut it down. One day. She went now, to log in, it was gone. They're teaming up with Webtoon, so I don't think it's going to be as easy to just roll it in and make it disappear, you know. Well, this is, okay, so this is where I think Webtoon, the Webtoon deal might have actually screwed up High Guardian Spice or derailed it a little bit. Uh, Webtoon, of course, is the largest web comics portal on the internet. Can I right take now. a moment to to bitch about Webtoon just for a minute? Please do. Uh, you know, Webtoons is a, it's a load of shit. I'm gonna tell you straight up because um, we were on Webtoons. They kept promoting that they were gonna like if you did so well, you're gonna get picked up and you get paid and that and and and, and some people did, but then they got this person who was gonna help them broker uh, movie deals and then all of a sudden all the people that were getting were, were losing comic deals because they were the same old people that you expect you know, with certain agendas, suddenly started getting paid show- series on Webtoons. And then they would promote these people. But all at the end of the day, they were promoting mostly the Korean artists. Um, but they were yeah. really trying to use the American market to promote the Korean artists, with what they were trying to do. So yeah. uh, we were on Webtoons, we did pretty well, but honestly, it wasn't worth the, the effort. The only reason I would recommend Webtoons uh, was if you didn't know how to do a website of your own yeah. and you didn't want the hassle, there is a lot, there are, well, there still are a lot of eyeballs over there. So you might be able to get an audience quicker that way, but you have to be discovered and they bury you under all the promoted artists who most often are Korean because it's a Korean owned company. Yeah. So basically, you know, how Webtoon, what they did is they used American web comics creators and money and money. Uh, well, they had neighbor money and whatever. And, and American and money, Patreon money and, to legitimize webtoons right and 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 make sure it's anchored in america and now they're going to use it to bring all their stuff over yeah now they're going to go hollywood they're going to get hollywood deals which this this we saw a couple of years ago they signed with i think caa which is you know one of the biggest uh, hollywood agencies and their goal always was to create animated series or live action content based on webtoons own in-house properties rando webcomic artist is not going to get a deal it's going to be the stuff that webtoons owns. right and the thing is now they do this in korea now there are a yeah. lot of, of of webtoons that are there you know car, comics that are there that were made the shows and they're really good because i know because i watched them all um but that that kind of thing will not fly here in america i mean uh, sadly i wish they would because some of these, these would be amazing shows it's not going to fly here like it does there and i think that's what they're hoping that they may be able to take some of these shows and make american versions of these shows to put them on me on hbo hbo max i don't know but th- i don't think that they're going to their audiences here aren't going to be as receptive to them as they are yeah there. i don't think so i mean some of the some of the webtoons are very anime-esque and i think it might work somewhat depends on what they pick but yeah. but i wonder if this didn't throw a wrench into some of crunchyroll's other plans for other series because they're like oh 
webtoon we'll just make we'll just do an animated version of webtoon series because webtoons owned by naver which is the korean equivalent of google mm -hmm. they have like unlimited money they're right. they are probably co-financing these productions and with warner media looking for every freaking penny it can find that's gonna look like a pretty good deal right like we'll bring some money over we'll bring our our audience over I just blame Webtoons for a big hunk of why webcomics don't do as well now as they used to. That might be a video sometime. Yeah, Webtoon is has been a double-edged sword because it, it's it's uh, become the biggest destination for webcomics, but also killed off webcomics as being a viable platform, I think, for a lot of creators to have their own sites and, and monetize because Webtoons just came in like freaking Kirby and just sucked everything right. up. Right, and I mean, we went really well on Webtoons with our comic. Um, and I, I did one thing I did like about Webtoons as a webcomic person was I really liked the interaction there because you did get a lot more interaction I think at Webtoons than you yeah. did you know having your comic. But it we was come, like YouTube, yeah. Yeah, we come from web comics. That was where I mean, well, you came from professional comics, and we did web comics, so we have a background in all these things. And I'm just saying, there's it's been it's been fishy since the beginning with Webtoons, I think. Yeah, I mean they they clearly had a plan, and it was basic because they came in and when they first started here in the U.S. and we're, we're getting off you know the beaten path here, but uh, they they brought some people in from Marvel. Um, to, to that run wasn't it. when they first. Well, yeah, that was that wasn't when they first started. That came a little bit later, and then after that, it got really weird. Then they just started bringing all these Marvel and DC artists in, gave them paid deals, and then when that didn't work, now they're just right back to uh, pushing the Korean comics. Now they're teaming up with Crunchyroll, and they're going to yeah. do cartoons. So yeah. anyway, that's you know. But anyway, so because of this, I don't know where Hard Guardian and Spice is going to end up. Um, I think Hard Guardian and Spice is going to get dumped onto Crunchyroll. I don't know how many episodes. I'm guessing if it's over already, it's probably 13 episodes, maybe. But it sounds like they're not even keeping the door open for a sequel. It's like, no, it's, I'm gone. I was last I'm day gone. there, gone. I'm gone. So High Guardian Spice is done before it even started. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was supposed to be out in May. Never heard of it. Didn't come out in May. Uh, come the like August, uh, around August, September, people were letting us know that they're doing uh, test screenings. Mm. And here it is, November. And, oh, we just finished it. Yeah, I think there were some problems. Clearly, I think Warner Media was a, the the biggest problem. And I, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it is. I mean, the test screener did say it was not a terrible no, show. This could be the victim of, uh, you know, this whole Corporate thing. Yeah, crap. this whole thing with Warner Media and and everybody wanting to get a streaming service because it seems like after Disney announced theirs and Apple announced theirs, everybody and their brother had to have their own. Yeah. And I think HBO might come out on top. I think it might hold them back as their price. Yeah, but you know what? If they've got the content, it's absolutely worth it. You know, yeah. and I, I, so far for anime, HBO is going to be a place to be. Right. I mean, because Disney's not getting it. They're getting Ghibli for God's they sake. They only need Crunchyroll if they're going to do HBO Max. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, you no, know, that's they the don't. They don't, don't need Crunchyroll. They, and they did. They got they, they got all the Ghibli stuff. Mm -hmm. So they Crunchyroll's really, not getting Ghibli. But they own Crunchyroll, so they can take all that stuff and roll it on into HBO Max. They don't need it. And then their deal is with Webtoons with Crunchyroll right now. But Webtoons is going to, if you have a choice between Crunchyroll and HBO, who are you going to go with? You know? Yeah, I think what's going to happen, I think this is going to happen with Rooster Teeth, too. I think they're just, once HBO Max is live, I think they're going to be like, okay, you were a Rooster Teeth or a Crunchyroll subscriber. We're going to give you a credit to, to sign up for HBO mm. Max because all that content's over here now. Yeah, and that I, comes out next March, right? Next March. Yeah, so it'll be interesting between now and next March to see how it happens. Yeah, I really think within six months of HBO Max launching that we're going to see Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll either get pared back or cut completely because they are redundant. Right. They're redundant. You, you don't, don't need, need them. You have one streaming service you put, and how how better to boost your numbers than to push all of your Crunchyroll subscribers and all of your Rooster Teeth subscribers over to HBO Max right out of the gate. Or be like, you know what, you're paying $7.99 a month now. We'll give you HBO for $7.99 for the next year or two if you guys come over here. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see because they don't need all these. It's, no, it, they really, don't. there's a lot of redundancies here. And they, since they're being, they're having trouble with money and they were kind of hemorrhaging money and the guy in charge now is notorious for pe pinching pennies. He's, of course, he's going to combine everything. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on this. I literally think we're the only people talking about High Guardian Spice at this point. Yeah, so we'll look at the commenters. Why are you keeping this thing alive? <laughs> it's it's coming whether or not you want it, guys. You know, it's I don't know where it's going to end up. I mean, I can't yeah. think they put the money into it and did it. It might be a short run, but I can't think they, they wouldn't put it somewhere. Oh, they're going to. They need content. HBO Max needs content. That's right. Gonna, it's like, you know, there was used to be a joke that Netflix would greenlight anything because they needed content. Well, you know, it's like Netflix times a thousand because everybody and their brother has streaming services and they all need content. Yep. Um, so there you go. Good time to be a content creator. I, I guess. guess. Maybe we start hitting them up. Hey, you guys want some shows? Yeah, there, there we go. go. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check to make sure you're still subscribed. We got some fishy, fishy stuff going on with YouTube, uh, unsubscribing people. So make sure you're still subscribed and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 
Thinking about printing your own comic books, graphic novel, or manga? We recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's PrintNinja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.